Hello everyone, we hope you all are doing well and welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the game between the Central Stags versus Canterbury and the game is going to be played at Pukekera Park and we have Nikhil Bhai with us today to help us create another crazy combination for this game. Yes, thank you so much as always. Thankfully, last few games have gone, gone well. Again, one common theme I feel here, there is uh, form se I think that is something that is starting to come through even more. Okay, rely on people who are well, as opposed to taking needless risk on people who we may think out of the blue perform the ring. So hmm. let's hope to continue to have our basic strong. Yes, absolutely. And on that note, first up, let's look at the venue conditions for this game. That is going to be a very interesting section for this one. So, first up, venue conditions and Nikhil Bhai, what do you say? Another high scoring 200 plus game here with the dimensions and the flat as ever pitch. Yes, runs, 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 and both other runs. Or uh, And again, it's, it's, it's been a pattern at the venue. So, I don't hmm. think that is going to change much. So, if batting, hoti hai, sab runs marte hai, to, yeah, it should be good fun. Probably a game that I'll skip, but yeah, in which case, that's okay. Yes, so not uh, no real insights in terms of any movement or anything of that mm. sort because across the last five or six games we saw there was only one odd game where we saw some movement. So maybe you can take a cue or two from the women's game scorecard because it'll happen before this one. But uh, apart from that, nothing much else. The only thing you should keep in mind is that the boundaries are really short. So pick your spinners accordingly. In fact, pick all your bowlers accordingly because this is that type of game where if a bowler gets hit in an over or two, there's a good chance you won't see him again on the day. So yes, pick your bowlers smartly and let's look at the base team now. So yes, before we look at the base team, an interesting feature is now out from fan to play, yes. which we discussed quite a few times that the edit edit name feature that mm. all of you wanted and now you have that. So your team name is visible. Like you can see, my team name is already edited. So make sure that you go ahead and take whatever username you want. You can also edit the profile avatar from some of the school avatars that they have. So make sure that you go ahead and do that. And now let's look at what base team we've set up for this one. So first up in the keeping section, we have gone with both keepers in Cam Fletcher and Dane Cleaver. And in the batting, we have gone with Chad Bose, Tom Bruce, who also bowled his full quota in the last game. So keep that in mind. And the last pick is the legend of this ground, Ross Taylor. Obviously not at his peak currently in terms of form, yeah. but only the presence of such a player and a few big knocks can be around the corner at any point. Nikhil, by any other picks that you'd like to make from either of these sections? Yeah, I think there are a few who you feel may contribute. Just like we talked about before, if a high scoring match, hai, and you feel hmm. somebody from the middle order, lower order can come good, somebody like a Carter also, if you think that they can come lambe lambe chakke maar ke apna kaam karke denge to aap unhe le sakte ho but again given the options that you have i think hmm. the only risk that in the entire team that we are taking here is a risk from ross taylor so yeah. agar ross taylor ke badle aapko aur kisi ko lena hai to bilkul you are free to take and yes always back your visualization so yeah jaise aapko lagta hai ki kya combination fit better hai kyunki personally i think it's a high risk game uh, hmm. kyunki is option nahi hai a reliable option. Nahi hai. Toh, most hmm. of most common teams you only have to pass. So, this pay with this clear so much. Right, and like you can see, the select percent is now present, so you'll be able to figure out how much risk you're actually taking on the app. And because we have many all rounders who bat and bowl fully, we did not really take more batters. Otherwise, this is that type of game where you can, like how we always say that if you expect 15 or 20 wickets to fall, you can go and side load five or six bowlers. This is that type of game where. At least traditionally, the pitch has been such where there have been 180 200 scores. So, there will be two or three batters who should stand out. And because I'm yeah. saying that, you also have a GL scenario to try a 20 wicket team. But yes, the all rounders that we have gone for Colly McConkie, Josh Clarkson, Henry Shipley, and Doug Bracewell, who got hit quite a bit in that last game. But they are the experienced options for yes. both these teams. These are four players who have played across seasons and the team will heavily rely on them. So, hence, we have opted for all four. And in the bowling, we have gone with Ed Nuttall and Todd Astell. Again, we have gone with the experienced yeah. options because if you see all the other options here, Jaden Lennox has not mm -hmm. been a regular. Brett Johnson has just come in. 
Brett Randall is a regular in the one day side, but not in the T20 side and didn't bowl his full quota in the last game. Same mm-hmm. for Angus McKenzie for Can- Canterbury. So there are quite a few options, but like like Nikhil Bhai said at the start, none of them are the kind of bowlers who you can say will go mm-hmm. ahead and bowl the full fours. Todd Astle is the only international that you see in this list and hence you have to take him. And Ed Nuttall is someone who again bowled his one over in the last game, but we think he should be able to do well. Yep. One thing that you can use to your favour on such a ground is because you're expecting a high score in the first innings. Generally under pressure, you'll see one or two bowlers do better in the second inning. So maybe... You can rely on one or two pace bowlers who have a bowl second. So, right now, we've taken Nuttall. You can take Brett Johnson if he's bowling second because this might not be that traditional pitch where you'll see first innings death wickets or middle yeah. over spinners wickets. So, yes, that will be the tricky part to play out. So, I think then the game type is better for mini gels or would you suggest in small leagues? Yeah, this one for mini GL. So, the first two days, I was happy to go with small leagues. But yes, in this game, I think yep. uh, mini GLs would be the way to go. Yeah, because I think most likely your captain as captain B Jai Mese So mm-hmm. unless you are the unless you are very, very sure of your uh, combination, you can go ahead and uh, back it and hopefully it works out for you also. Yes, absolutely. And as far as the batters, we will talk about them more in the Grand League options round. <laughs> picks that are to be made and first up to Nikhil Bhai, who are your two Grand League picks for this one? Oh, kafi difficult actually because the players are all the same team. Ka hai. So, hmm. uh, if you want to take out people who have done well, hmm. uh, you know, in both departments, I think I think Tom Bruce, again, it may, he might be a common option as well for many people, but I feel he could be a handy captain as captain option for you uh, to try out in that sense. And Doug Bressel already vice captain hai team ka, so I don't think mm-hmm. that uh, qualifies as a uh, as a pick that you, you may want to try. I think Cole McConkey could be a pick to try, but again, it is going to be very very tricky. So two players who have made a coffee, both of them are very Doug Bressel, Cole McConkey, and uh, there is uh, Tom Bruce from the Stags. Right, fair call. My two Grand League. Picks Leo Carter from Canterbury. I think he's and he's also the guy who's hit six sixes in the same tournament. So if the pitch is actually how it has been traditionally, then he mm. should enjoy the conditions. And the other pick is uh, more an emotional one and less a uh, data yeah. back pick. But Ross Taylor, I think uh, I feel like one or two really quality knocks will come across mm. in this season for him. So maybe this game, maybe this ground. So yes, that is it as far as the Grand League picks are concerned. And yes, keep in mind that it's the last set of days where you can take full advantage of the leaderboard. So if you haven't already, app link is in the description. Go download the app right now. Like you can see, they're rolling out some new features. A lot of other stuff is also in the works for you. So ensure that you download and ensure that you make best use of that new user deposit code that they have. You get 200% bonus on your first deposit. So make that deposit and make sure you enjoy the game. Have a great one. Yeah, just to add on one bit there, uh, many people ask us how we are deciding mini gels GLs. You see, in hmm. the entire discussion, we didn't have too many players to opt, opt for. So that is what explains to you why the risk level is high and why we are suggesting you mini GLs and that kind of stuff. So there are interest layers to everything that is being done. So yes, hmm. but if you feel that you have a small combination acha better, you are confident. So you are always free to do that. So yeah, always back your visualization. Have a good game. Yes, and like, like like he's saying, how on the process of deciding that, like you saw, even in the Perth Scorchers game, even though I, I had my confidence up and down post the morning first BBL game, but the day before we had decided that because there are so many bowling options, mm-hmm. there's a good chance that even if one doesn't click, the other builds the yeah. balance for you. And that is the kind of game where you have a pool of 16, 17 players who are really good yeah. and can make your first level to pick from. That's when it makes a quality small league mm-hmm. game and that too when you know the conditions decently. Yes. So yes, that's a small insight on how we decide our leagues. But yes, more on it as mm-hmm. we go through every preview. Yep. Have a good game. Cheers.